Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a western saddle. I take three fingers on the left and up at the top I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a little flat oval. I'll come on the left hand side and draw a slightly curved line down on the left. Come on the right, slightly curved line down on the right. Starting just below it I'm going to draw a curved line over curve line up, curve line down, curve line over, and I'm going to leave that line floating. That's because right here between those two lines I'm going to draw a circle, and from that circle right about here midpoint I draw a curve line down, curve line up, connect. Let me attach that. There we go. From that circle, I'm going to draw a wavy line down and up, another wavy line down and up. Starting right at this point, I'm going to mimic the line that I just drew. Curve line, curve line, up, over, and then we're going to blend it in right there at that point. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line out curve line down and connect and now I'm going to mimic that line and draw it again curve line out curve line down connect right about here almost in the middle I draw a straight line down come back up on the right part and we're going to draw a curve line out in come back to the left line, make it a little bit longer, slightly curved line, connect. Now right down at the very bottom of that, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, curve line up, curve line down, connect. Now I'm going to add a circle here on the left part, a circle here on the right part, in a circle here at the at the end come back over to the first one draw a wavy line down wavy line up wavy line down wavy line up come to this one wavy line down wavy line up wavy line down wavy line up and now this last one over here on the right wavy line down wavy line up wavy line down, wavy line up. Usually I tell you don't draw through anything but I'm going to draw through these lines because we're going to color these a dark color and hopefully they won't show. Now I'm going to come all the way back down here and I'm going to put a dot and I'm going to draw a loop on top, a loop on the bottom, a loop to the right, and a loop to the left. And in each one, I'm going to put a little dot. And I'm going to come up and put dots along this line to look like stitching. Jump over. And I'm going to put another series of dots in this space at the end. Jump over. There we go. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, first off for my saddle, I'm always going to color my little circles, turquoise blue, blue-green, for the infamous Papa color that I always like. Then I went through my crayon box and found three different colors of browns. You can do the same thing if you have a, an array of browns. And I'm going to make my tassels dark brown. That's this section right here. But if you don't, what you can do is use your browns, your one brown, use it dark, use it light, 
and maybe add orange or yellow for contrast but because I have all these browns I'm gonna go ahead and use mine I think I did this brown so that I have an array of leathers that's what this is all about is the leather so I'm gonna use a reddish brown I'm gonna use that for the trim over here in the right hand side and then I found a lighter tan that I'm going to use for the main part of the leather saddle and down here main part and I forgot my brown for this section okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay this is my western saddle all colored in I couldn't believe how ornate some of the other saddles were that I saw online so if you want to see fancy ones with all kinds of um, decorations and all kinds of semi-precious stones just google western saddles and see what comes up okay bye bye